Does this sweater look like a bathrobe to you? It looks like a bathrobe. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Kat and welcome to Cat's Eye. I am 52 years old and I love makeup and skincare and today we're going to be diving into ColourPop's brand new Pretty Fresh Prime and Set Kit. But before we hop into it, don't forget to click like and subscribe. And remember, I upload every Sunday and Wednesday. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell so you know when I upload. Okay, I decided to do my eye makeup first because I did a smoky eye to usher in October. And the first attempt of wearing a sweater and it looks like a house robe. Yay me. Anywho, how are you? I am doing great. It's finally 70 degrees here in Tennessee and it was kind of rainy, kind of gloomy, but perfect day to stay in and play with makeup. I'm about to test the brand new ColourPop Pretty Fresh Prime and Set Kit. It retails for $25. I got it off the ColourPop website. It comes with a one ounce fluid ounce, one ounce fluid ounce primer, the Pretty Fresh coconut hydrating primer. You also get the setting spray that has hyaluronic acid and you also get a beauty sponge like so. I've already dampened it so it's kind of grown. That's what she said. But yeah, and you know me, I love my L'Oreal beauty sponge. It is to me the perfect consistency. It has the best bounce on my face and I love the odd phallic kind of shape. Yeah, I said that. Oh, I'm so sorry. Anywho, let's get into it. Ah, so you know, recently I've been loving the Nor No Pore Blum Primer from Touch and Soul. Yes, this one, love it. I can't help but think it's giving me the same vibes. First impressions, pretty fresh. Uh, it's kind of weighty. It's got a glass, I think so, it's glass. Um, beautiful packaging. I don't know what it is with the aesthetic of this. It looks so clean and fresh. Now it does contain coconut oil and coconut water. So if you're allergic to that, beware. So let's get into the facts on the primer. Now it says, look so fresh in this lightweight hydrating primer, refresh and prep your skin to create a silky smooth canvas before applying makeup infused with hyaluronic acid, also known as Ha, HA and coconut water to support skin hydration. Wear it under any tinted moisturizer, foundation, or alone for a fresh face look. Now, I do have the new Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer, but I'm gonna save that for another video because I wanna see how this particular primer performs under regular foundation. So let's test her out. Okay, let's roll up the sleeves. Woo! Now, there's nothing on my face except for moisturizer. So we got a naked palette right here. So I'm gonna, I don't know if you shake it up, but plastic pump, let's put this down. And let's check out the consistency of this primer, shall we? Okay, oh, it does have a coconut scent. I'm not gonna lie. The consistency is pretty creamy. It kind of looks like, um, melted orange sherbet. <laughs> I must be hungry, but I'm just going to go ahead and dab it on to my problem areas, which of course is right through here. Now my skin is normal to dry. And as I was checking out the ColourPop website, this particular set was sold out. Um, and they, I did get an email from ColourPop saying it was going to take a while to get my order, but it came sooner than expected. But I do believe you can get each of these items separately for $12 each. Now, this actually feels pretty good. I don't want to put too much on, so I'm just going to dab a little bit more and put it across the bridge of my nose in my very porous areas here. The smell, it's pleasant. It's not too strong. It does smell like coconuts, of course, but I'm just going to tap that in. And I was thinking about what type of foundation I want to try with this primer and I was thinking I'm gonna revisit Urban Decay Stay Naked. Now that is a matte foundation and since this setting spray is dewy I wanted to see how it would perform with that foundation so that's what we're gonna do today and I'm super nervous about testing out this beauty blender. I don't know why. I'm just creature of habit I guess but yeah let's check out the beauty sponge so far this feels pretty good I'm just gonna give it a minute to set into settle into my complexion but it feels good it feels slightly tacky um, doesn't look bad but yeah 
Okay, so let's talk about the Beauty Blender. But as you can see, it's flat on this side. The consistency is very spongy. Ooh, like a memory foam bed. And I did dampen it, so I'm gonna go in with Stay Naked. All right, let's go ahead in with my foundation. And, okay. Okay, here we go with Beauty Sponge. Oh, oh, hello. Wow. Okay, this is, wow, the product really soaks up into the sponge as you can see. Can you see, can you see that? Yeah. But so far, it is going on quite lovely. I gotta tell you, I'm not used to the shape, but oh well. We're gonna roll with it, okay? I'm gonna put some more on the left side of my face. And just through here. Could it be too spongy? Is he sponge worthy? Oh my God. If you know what television show that's from, leave a comment down below. You'll have mad respect for me. <laughs> or you'll just think I'm crazy, which, you know, could be the latter. But wow, I've forgotten how good this foundation was. Yes, I'm not hungover anymore. Yes, that was a brutal last video where I was just so H-O. Okay, so on that note, I'm gonna go in with concealer. And the concealer du jour is going to be, of course, the Boing Cakeless Concealer from Benefit. Love, 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 love this stuff. I'm just gonna put a little dab. And here. And tap it. I really, I'm surprised that I really like that sponge so far. I'm gonna use this tip of the sponge right here. Wow, this is so different from my usual beauty sponge. Let's see, Ugh, the product's just going right up into that sponge. Oh, now I'm gonna do a little trick that I learned from Wayne Goss um, to make sure I don't have cake face. What I do when I apply my concealer and my foundation, I wrap the beauty sponge into a clean tissue well, in this case, I'm gonna put it on this, this flat end right here. And I take the tissue and I just blot in the places normally where my foundation and concealer tend to get caked up, usually on my chin, through my porous areas. And whenever I put too much foundation, I can always tell on the tissue. You can see, see? So that's just kind of insurance to set the liquid foundation and the concealer into my complexion. And voila. So usually you can see the excess foundation, but that's just a little tip that I learned from Wayne Goss. He is a god, he is amazing. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye. So far, the primer just feels super comfortable. I think it looks good. What do you think? Primer's so important. I think primer's important. It really gives the opportunity for your makeup to just lay on top smoothly and, you know, fill up those crevasses in your face. You know, you know what I'm talking about. The pores, your little... But yeah, this, wow. This is actually nice. And it's only $12, are you serious? So I'm gonna go ahead and pop on the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Final look, guys. Okay, for cheeks I went in with ColourPop's Blush Sticks in Cool It. For my lips I went in with Coconuts About You from ColourPop in Cherry Picking. Love the consistency of this. This is such a beautiful neutral shade, love it. For highlighter I went in with, of course, uh, the Super Shock Shadow for Cheeks 
in lunch money. This has got such a beautiful sheen to it. The consistency is so beautiful and buttery. Let's see it right there. OMG, see how pretty that is? Oh my gosh, an oldie but goodie. But we're not done yet. Okay, so let's go in with the pretty fresh hyaluronic acid setting mist. I heard it has a fabulous mister. And usually there's a lot of good setting sprays out there, but the mister is shit. So let's check her out. Okay, ready? Oh, that's that's so nice. And it does does smell like coconuts. And now, of course, this also has hyaluronic acid. It also contains coconut water. So let's just jump right in. I like it. It does smell like I went to the beach, which is not a bad thing. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this. I think the primer is doing a great job. This is beautiful. Nice little fresh glow. But yeah, what do you think guys? I mean, for $25, you get a pretty good deal. Well, you get the primer, which is one ounce. You get the uh, setting mist, which I believe is 3.7 ounces. And then you get the beauty sponge all for $25. On the ColourPop website, there were only two reviews. And guess what? Everybody raved about it, all two of them. And unfortunately, the demographics was 18 to 24 year olds. Well, this 52 year old highly recommends these products. For the price point, you can't go wrong. It's beautiful packaging, love it. But in my next video, I am gonna be reviewing, of course, the Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer. My Italian drugstore foundation is on its way. Can't wait for that. And I will be packing up and going out of town and I'll be taking you with me and I can't wait to share that with you. So I hope you enjoyed this review of Pretty Fresh Prime and Set Kit from ColourPop, one of my all time favorite cosmetics company. I really hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. And remember I upload every Sunday and Wednesday. And if you're interested in other videos from me, look at it over here, check them out over here. And don't forget to click like and subscribe. And remember to click on my little head in case you haven't. So mahalkita. I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye.